Hey guys, in this video we're going to do a review of the Bamboo Stylus. This uh, stylus works with touchscreen devices and it's marketed towards the iPad but will work with any other capacitive uh, screen. So uh, before we get started I just want to kind of go over it and you know kind of why I wanted to get a stylus. Um, and from the looks of it, it's, it's, it looks like it can replicate a pen uh, pretty well. And um, I don't know if you can see here, it kind of shows you on the back what it looks like. I think you can get this at like Best Buy, but obviously you can buy it online as well. Uh, and the stylus was interesting to me because I want something that makes it a little easier to write on the iPad. Because if, you, if you're trying to write with your hand, like no one, no one ever writes like this, you know. Like we always write with a pen and we're going like that. So I wanted to try that out and see what it is and kind of let you guys know if it's worth getting. So here we are, I'm just going to open this up. So got taped down while I got wrapped, I'm guessing. Okay, so let's see if I can get this open. Okay, so here we are. I'm pulling this out. Inside the case, you get a looks like a quick starting uh, quick start guide showing you some interesting or useful things uh, for this. I'm not too worried about that, I'm just going to pull this out. And to be honest, and with this open, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna put this next to a Sharpie to show you in size comparison. If I lay them both down, um, that's what they look like. Let's see if I can slide it up for you guys. So the stylus is a little bit smaller. Um, Here's a mechanical pencil if you want to compare it again to that. Uh, the stylus is smaller um, than the other ones and it is surprisingly heavier too. Like holding on to this, you would be like, wow, this is kind of heavy. And um, you know, I was kind of surprised when I first got it. I didn't think it would be comfortable in my hand, but I've never held this before and it's actually pretty comfortable to hold. So, um, and then you also have the pen cap up here, well, like the uh, clip. So that'll be nice if you have a. Uh, um, you know, if you're shirt or you're working, and then here's the uh, the tip, the uh, one that works. And if you push on it, you can feel it kind of go in, and it seems like it ha will have a good feel on the iPad. Um, but I'm gonna switch over to the iPad with the stylus and show you how it works and if it is pretty responsive. Okay, so here we are again. I have my iPad, and I'm I'm using an app called Audio Note, and it's a cool app. Uh, I use it last year for notes in my uh, classes, and what it does is it records the lecture, and then you can type things on the line, so it has a notepad, you can type things like, um, subscribe to, oops, W Regan Tech, and um, it, it types it right on the line, which is pretty cool, but you know, you can use a computer for that, so it's really not like, oh, this is great. Um, the cool thing do, about this app that it does do, not that I'm trying to make an app review, but if I was recording what I'm saying, it would tell you what time you typed this, and it would, if you wanted to, it would bring you right back to that point in the lecture when he was saying it. So that's actually really cool. Now, you can also draw with this app, and this is really why you would want to use the app. Um, you know, you have the options to erase and stuff like that, and uh, let's see, I can erase what I just did. Okay, so... This is what you can do. Now with the pen I can write and I can write the same thing. So I'll write uh, subscribe to W Regan um, Tech. And this works really, like, I mean it works pretty well. My handwriting is not good. And you have to realize that I'm trying to avoid the tripod that's in my way, so I'm writing kind of like, you know, over here, my, you know, my body's kind of weird, weirdly positioned. But it does work pretty well. And the downside about this is I'm, I'm writing, you know, with my palm off the, the iPad. Like, a lot of times we rest our, our palm down on the, the table when we're writing for notes. Well, here, if you do that, and I start writing, um, see this line over here? Like, it did do what I was saying over here, but, like, if I put my palm down and say hello that's what we get okay that obviously is not hello so 
Uh, that's the downside. And I have seen apps where they have something called a palm pad. So, like, it'll be a spot where, like, your hand can touch and you can write above it. So, uh, it is pretty cool. To to go back onto uh, the stylus, though, I would give the stylus, I've tried one other one. Um, I'd probably give this stylus the better, the, the you know, the top stylus I've used. Um, there are other reviews on YouTube comparing them, but if you do want a stylus, I could see no reason not to get this. The only downside that you have to be prepared for is when I was talking about how you rest your palm on it. Because you don't want to, obviously, rest your palm because then the stylus isn't good because your palm's on the iPad. So, uh, that's the downside. But there's nothing wrong with the stylus itself. I think it works really well. Um, so... I hope you guys like this video, and um, if you want to subscribe, I will release more videos about uh, just iPad technology, stuff like that, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, so I'll see you in the next one, hopefully, bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to stay in the loop with technology and W and Tech, I suggest you do three things. The first is to subscribe to me on YouTube. The button will be above the video if you are watching on YouTube, and this will notify you in your homepage when I post new videos along with have recent activity on YouTube. The next is to like me on Facebook. If you like me on Facebook, you will get notifications in your newsfeed, which will allow you to know when I post new videos right on the Facebook and when I add new entries onto my blog. The final way is to follow me on Twitter to not only get news about W and Tech, but also just news about technology in general, where I will retweet news from Engadget and other technology sources that will notify you in your timeline on Twitter. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video, and by doing these three things, hopefully I will see you in my next one.